called the Muslim Youth Project and it's posted this video on its Facebook page calling on young Australian Muslims to go to Syria and do jihad. They want to pack their bags and they want to get a plane and go to Syria. They want to do jihad. One trip on jihad is better than 50 hajj. The group's leader is Bilal Murhi. At a summer camp last month in Western Sydney, he told a group of boys this about Islamic State's brutal killing spree in Iraq and Syria. What the Mujahideen are doing today is the best they can do and we give them yani, all salute. We take our hat off to them what they are doing today. Young attendees at this lecture can be seen getting bottles of water during the talk. When you have nuclear power, the Khilafah will invest in nuclear power. That's how you put fear into their hearts. We first encountered Murhi last October when he led children as young as six in extremist chants. He has refused requests for an interview, but at the weekend I approached Murhi at a rally held by radical Islamist group Hizbut Tahrir. Hello Bilal, my name is Brian Seymour, I'm with Channel 7. I just wanted to ask you about your, your videos on the Muslim Youth Project. Um, will you continue making those videos? As to whether Bilal Murhi will be charged and this group banned, the Joint Counter-Terrorism Task Force has the videos we've unearthed and will say only that they are investigating. Legal experts say new laws mean these videos are illegal and those involved should be prosecuted. It is the Muslim armies that should be praying Salat al Jummah as we are today in Washington, Paris and London. It really does look like incitement uh, to, to violence, incitement to go and join the uh, jihad in Iraq and Syria. Child welfare officers are checking the children involved are safe. The preaching of hate and violence to young children is simply abhorrent. Young and impressionable minds shouldn't be hearing these kind of messages. The question now, is this behaviour illegal? Brian Seymour, 7 News.